Hey there, Juggies. It's your old pal, Mitch Egonites here. I am Jesse Ridgeway, right? I'm still here, moving so fast in my mind. Reflections on reflections of a person I've lost myself. Where am I? How do I escape? Who would you like me to be today? I am yours to command, Lucifer. Make me act and dance just like the rest of them. Blah, no blah, problems for me. Hey there, James. Your old pal, Jerry Ants here. Gosh, I missed you guys. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Where the hell am I? Where have you been, my man? Well, guys, I have been enjoying the good life in a luxury suite. I dare not pan down to show you my ding dong. But things have been great. Just relaxing, spending a little bit of that green that you guys have made me thanks to my creations. I mean, what is the point in working so hard if you cannot enjoy the fruits of your labor? Look at me, where are my manners, guys? It's our first time talking a while. Let me put some gosh dang clothes on. What do you say we catch up, guys? So, you're probably wondering, what has the almighty creator been up to? Well, <laughs> creating, because that is what I do best. That's all I ever do. So I've actually locked my, you know, you're probably wondering, what was that little, little thing in the beginning of the video? That was Jesse. <laughs> that was real Jesse, the, the character. <laughs> he, he, he's never left. The mirror, he, he's been in there since January. <laughs> Because that's that's what I've decided. That's what I've dictated happening. He's just a puppet. He's just a puppet on a string. It's honestly better that it's you and I talking, because I'm the creator and I, and I, I have created that. Like, it's been me. I, granted, I've been flipping around. Don't make me do the butthole snap again, guys. Well, what you saw wasn't the hub. I would never show you that, because uh, you see, Look, it's important you need to understand the creative process. As a creator, it's like being, it is being an artist. And as an artist, it's important to surround yourself with a gallery, showing all your greatest works, your crowning achievements. Stay inspired. And that, that's what I'm doing here in this unknown location. I am creating and I have surrounded myself by the characters that I've made. And it's perfect, guys, it's beautiful. I dare not snap right now. I would not bring out a old character. Like I said, not because not I don't have control, it's just that as an artist, I, I, I tend, tend to feel for old characters, and it, it's, it's beautiful because each character is like a snapshot, a moment in time, a moment of expression when I felt a certain way about the world and myself and life in general. Sometimes it's, you know, it's nice to reminisce. Helps you build and learn from your experiences. And sometimes looking at the mirror, well, you can kind of lose yourself. It's dangerous business. You know, sometimes I think about Psycho Kid. It's a lot of work you know, creating, and um, it's nice, cause like, Jesse the character would never take a break, so it's nice, I'm just able to sit back, relax, let the creative juices flow. And I must reiterate that, guys, it is great to have me and not the character, because whereas Jesse would not tell you certain things, the creator, I will be real with you, I will be 100% authentic. I would never act for you guys. So here we are, Juggies. I've come to this remote location to write. After all, that's what a creator does, isn't it? It's a patient art form, Juggies. Edits, revisions. It's a lot of pressure to compare to uh, previous work, like the Psycho series and Psycho Kid. They say a great story relies on its characters, and I have to say, the Psycho Kid, I think, is the most beloved character, for it is one with a lot of depth. And you know how you get depth? By exposure. That's how you really get to know somebody, is by seeing them and talking to them and spending a lot of time with them. It's just a shame, because I feel like Psycho Kid is not my best character. By no means does he have such a dark and rich backstory as somebody else. So anyway, with my time creating, guys, I uh, have realized something. I am not a one-man band. I am not a soloist. I always have a team, even if it's just a team of puppets that just listen to what I say. I realize I no longer have a cameraman. Unfortunate. Look, there will be an announcement coming on this sooner rather than later, and guys, let's just say the creator might need a little co-creator. So keep that in mind. Speaking of creating, guys, I highly encourage you to download the latest update on Storyfire the app. I'll put that link in the description. We have group mode now, which is pretty insane. You can tell stories with your friends, invite as many as you want, and you do it line by line. It's pretty freaking cool. Alright, all right, that's enough work for one day. Oh, oh my 
almost, almost dropped the camera in the bathtub, guys. It is a fine art that must be mastered, which which I have. It's part of my my very large skill set. So what now? What's going on with the channel, guys? Well, uh, it's a bunch of lax. I'm sure there's probably still a lot of you guys wondering what the freak is going on with this channel. I don't understand. We're gearing up for the next big series. Shit! I don't. I don't know why I just said. That. See, I never give shit for free. I never do that. I guess consider yourselves like it, it's. I, I get diarrhea in the mouth sometimes because I just don't. Like I talk to so many people, but none of them are real. I mean, I mean, you guys are real. It's just I don't. <laughs> like I. It, it, I'm talking to a camera, so you you can understand the frustration. Yeah, guys, let's uh, just let the creator, let his creative, creative juices start flowing again. Because you let it build up, then it's just, it's just impossible. You cannot stop. You know the rest of that statement. So, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your fun time, our free time, and uh, let's relax and uh, enjoy this nice naked bathtub time. Keep it rigid. I'll check back with you guys when I have something more important to say, which is everything I have to say. So I'll hit you guys soon. <laughs> Peace. Okay, I I've decided to pick it up real quick because I do have something important to say. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just isolation, but I, I feel the need to share this with you guys. Back in November, December of last year, there was starting to have some problems with the snapper. Here's an analogy I would like to show you guys. Hopefully I'll try not to film my dick. Do you hear that sound? Do you hear that? That is a drain, Juggy. It's pretty damn obvious. This is what it was like last year. Imagine this is Jesse's mind. And all these characters are out and about and nothing makes sense and the world is crazy and the man's losing his mind. This, this is me. So you see, that annoying ass sound stops, the craziness ends, and everything is in order. And it's that right there, why I decided to create the mirror system, the hub. And it's that right there, why I'm a fucking genius, to create the mirror world. That's right, I'll take all the credit. I created the hub, and all the interconnected worlds and mirrors. I'm responsible for saving Jesse's life. Let's just call it the most efficient means of compartmentalization. So you're welcome, Jesse. I saved your fucking life. Well, 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 Juggies. It seems I have come at a bad time. The orange skies are upon us. <laughs> there is no color correction on the camera right now, although you may see that in the near future. I'm done. I'm back from my writing sabbatical, guys. It's a week-long venture. Very, very productive. I didn't get to finish my sentence. You see, that's why I don't feel bad for trapping Jesse in the mirror world. Because it's like, I get to be real with you guys. And it's so much better than I'm here. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't it magical? There's so much you don't know about Dr. Snap and the whole snapping world. We're going to have 50 million more conversations about this. But can we just, can we just take this in for a moment? What on earth? <laughs> uh, the universe is not happy, my friends. The orange sky is supposedly mean the end days. I, I, I didn't write this. Good to be back, my Neapolitan ice cream dogs. Mmm. Oh, my friends. Hey, John, your new name's Puppet John. It's a puppy on a string. All you guys, my little minions. Love it. Hmm. Huh. Weird.